One week, seven days, seven different sleeping spots. Seven sunsets, seven sunrises. We've been moving consistently, soaking up the fall colors and slow moments along the way while slowly inching towards the U.S. border. It's been good. taking baths. <laughs> I don't feel like a stinky human anymore. In spite of the continuous progress along our route, we've enjoyed moments of peace, quiet, and calm. We are both still amidst the slow transition from living in a house to life on the road. We wake with the sun and sleep when it's dark. The days roll past methodically, but not unnoticed. Oh, oh the strawberries too. <laughs> There's a lot of colors I don't know where to go See a lot of colors Only feeling blue There's a lot of colors Lost within a haze Don't rely on others To get you through the maze Always remind me of 
it's a big one. Don't hurt yourself. Where did they put all the big rocks? Where are they? This is what we will do. We'll make a big rock out of two smaller rocks. Who are you? What? <laughs> what do you want? <laughs> what do you want? You're trying to imitate that guy on Instagram, aren't you? <laughs> oh my goodness! Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> We have arrived at a small campground in the mountains of northern Idaho, where there are a number of different trailheads. We'll spend the weekend here and enjoy some hiking and mountain air. Can I let you in on a little secret? I'm really struggling today. I'm struggling with what so many of us struggle with, seemingly inescapable and insidious comparison and envy. It's crazy, right? Here I am with my partner, my best friend, hiking up a mountain to a beautiful lake, breathing in mountain air, taking in the incredible views and doing exactly what I've been dreaming of doing all summer. And all I can think about is how some other person on the internet is having a better time than me, doing something cooler, making more money, etc. I struggle most often with comparing myself to other creatives whom I follow on social media. I try hard to stay in my own lane, to focus on what I'm doing, and to produce photo and video that inspires and benefits others. But it's hard. I can go for days or weeks free of energy draining, joy stealing comparison and then one thing will tip me over the edge. So that is what I am struggling with today, despite where I am. That's my little secret that I wanted to share with you. Because it's good to understand someone else's experience. We all struggle, even the people we envy or compare ourselves to. Welcome to this episode of Cooking in the Van with Meg. <laughs> Today we're making banana bread in my brand new Omnia oven. It's very exciting times. It's amazing. <laughs> um, just to fill you in on what's already happened, <laughs> we've mashed up a banana, ripe, two ripe bananas added sugar and an egg to the bowl and uh, now we're going in with some vanilla and then we're gonna whisk it up. Guess who's back? Chad! <laughs> Okay, so fill us in on who Chad is for all the people that don't know. Chad is the traveling sourdough starter. 
And this banana bread is going to be banana bread, sourdough banana bread. <laughs> cool. Maybe I should whisk. Oh gosh, it's too cold. So we're just gonna go with it because that's that's my patience back though. Oh. goodness it's already done well it took an hour <laughs> can you can you can... the oh, big man. reveal yeah oh, oh my goodness <laughs> are you excited yes much excited much excited time to cut Should I leave it in? Uh, I don't think you want to cut it in there because it's silicone, right? Mm, that's true. Come here, Dad. That's the mess. Way to go, babe. It looks good, sweetie. Yummy. <laughs> <laughs> Want some? Yep. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. <laughs> oh. It's Chad's magic touch. Magic touch. Yeah, that's why it's so good. Yeah. yeah. Whew, banana bread. Man mm -hmm. life banana bread. Mm hmm. Man life. <laughs> The next day before leaving our place in the woods, we scurried up the side of another mountain in search of more views and another lake. We were well rewarded for our efforts.
Onwards and upwards, as they say. We're off to our next spot, our next hike, our next sunset or a sunrise, our next experience. Are you coming with us?